Grand Canyon ain't nothing. Being the grandfather or a father, now that's harder than being the Grand Canyon. We just a hole sitting there doing nothing. OK, but are you OK with us even having a Grand Canyon? Or should we just kick some sand up all over it and fill it up like a cat box? Shit. All I'm saying is the Grand Canyon is where Joe was left that very day. Yo, Ebony, Ivory, you talking about Joe Dirt? Yeah. I know a little something about Joe Dirt. Stopped into an old radio station I worked a few years back. Stayed for, it must have been a week. Wove some batshit crazy tale. So batshit, he should have hung upside down from the ceiling when he was telling it. <laughs> I remember a uh, big kid, bigger heart. Now, sure, I, you know, I'm not saying the IQ wasn't subterranean. I mean, that intellect was barely skimming the treetops. <laughs> now, I ain't saying that I ain't in agreement with you. But somewhere in there, that speech of fine you making to say sounded right. Hey, John C minus rally. It's not agreeance. It's agreeamitude. And by the way, what's with the mouth, for God's sakes? The teeth look like a half-completed Lego project. What are you gargling with, M80s? Are those deciduous teeth? I'm waiting for them to change color, fall out, and float down to the ground. Who's your orthodontist? Mo Howard with a ball-peen hammer? I mean, for God's sakes, man, it looks like Willie Stargell took a bat to your mouth. Now listen, JD's got himself in another bind here. But why not let the boy tell you his own tale in his own way? Let's drop that needle, guys. Whoa, 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 wait a second. It's a sweet song. I get the thematics, but this is Joe Dirt. We're going to start this puppy off. We got to go old school. Try it again, guys. Hello. I'm Dirt. I'm Joe Dirt. Those look like pretty comfortable shoes you got on there. My boots don't feel so good, but they're like magical or something. Look, I think... Cracker, don't you be talking no far as gum crap to me, you little bitch waffle. Sitting there talking all that hunky ass whining crap like mama said life is like a box of chocolates. Boy, sitting next to you for even 10 seconds makes me feel I should take a shower in a bath full of Clorox. She, mullet head. Hey, if I say hi to you, you're not gonna call me like a dumb crap Forrest Gump or something, will you? Well, uh, let's play it by ear. <laughs> you waiting on the seven cross town bus? Fair enough. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just waiting uh, for the concert to be over over there, yeah. yeah. I tidy up after. Tidy up? Dear Tay, yeah. Yeah, I'm sort of, you know, a roadie. Oh, like you travel with the bands and you pack up their equipment after concerts and their amplifiers and Oh, stuff? yeah, exactly. But no, not uh, per se. I don't travel with them. Uh, mostly I mop up after they're done. Like, uh, I clean up the poop and the um, barf and things, and your occasional fart items and pee pee, you know, whatnot. So, so you don't actually travel with them and, and such, not a roadie? No, exactly. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where that started, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now we're on the same page. Yeah. Oh, but well, why aren't you in there watching them perform? Oh, uh, well. I ain't exactly allowed in the building during the concerto, if you will. Uh, but if there is a diarrhea emergency or something, I get to go in, clean it up, and I can hear a little bit. So there's some perks. Oh. Yeah. 
I enjoy my job, because if people have a hard week and they want to rock out at a concert, I like to help. You know, picking up their garbage, bodily fluids, just so they can relax. They can thank me later. <laughs> they don't, but uh, that's cool. It don't stop me from being all in all the time. Bam, bam, you know how it is, yeah. You know, so much has been happening to me that I don't even understand it all. It's all just happening way above my pay grade. Oh, above zero? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude. Oh, that's a good one, you got me. It's <laughs> pretty much how it is. See, my new story picks up after my first story, and yet it goes back to the day I was born. Well, You've got me intrigued, and I don't see the bus coming nearby, so start at the beginning. It starts where every good thing in my life ever got started. Silvertown. Man, that's the greatest town ever. I woke up this morning, got myself a gun. Mama always said I'd be there, chose on one. One in a million, I believe I was born under a bad sign with a blue moon in my eye. And I woke up as small and like all that love had gone. A pop never told me about right and wrong. But I'm a looking good, baby. I believe that I'm feeling fine. I was born under a bad sign with a blue moon in my eye. So help me now. And today was the best day ever. Man, I was marrying Brandy. Yeah, come here, get down. It was like I was dreaming. Brandy knew me better than I knew myself. Like, she knew that I didn't know what seven times seven was. I mean, yeah, now I know what 77, but still, she knew me. And just when I thought it couldn't get any better, it did. Joe? We were gonna have a baby. Morning sickness came on fast. Hey, honey. Get it out. But Brandy was a real trooper about it. <laughs> And then the big day arrived. Joe, honey? Yeah. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good, baby. I'm doing good. <laughs> oh, please make her smart like Brandy. Please make her smart like Brandy. Don't make her dumb, baby. Joe? What? I don't know what to do. Just Joe. tell me if there's something Joe. I need to help you with. Honey, honey, breathe. Okay. Okay? Yeah. In and out. Okay. That's it. Oh, man. We're going to see our baby girl soon. Oh, she looks like you. No, shut up! I mean, shut up, because no, please, she has to look like you, baby. Don't waste a favor. What if God listens? You can't Thank God, like you, you are the most handsomest man that no. I have ever seen. Baby, yes. I think them drugs put your eyeballs to sleep because you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a look. Centimeter dilation looks just about right. Hey, Doc, are you smoking? Was it the cigarette that gave it away, Sherlock? Doctor girl? Mr. May I call you Brandy? Because I feel like once I've seen your muff, we should be on a first name basis. Okay, this exchange doesn't sound too doctorish to me. Oh, how cool. Did you go to med school? No, I did not. Oh, so you don't know how doctors talk. I thought maybe you did the way you sounded all confident about our exchange, not sounding doctor-like. My Joe went to the school of hard knocks, but graduated with honors. Please treat him with respect. Oh, that's nice, Brandy. You always say the nicest stuff about me. Hmm. Well, I can't help myself, baby. Well, well, our little girl is crowning. You're about to meet your baby. You hear that, baby? I love her so much already. Uh, um, um, this, uh, oh, hold on a second. Sue, I think there's another baby up in there. Did I hear there might be another baby? Hey, we're in a meeting. Oh. Hey, Doc, I just wanna, whoa, whoa, jackpot, give me some. What? It's a medical. It's a medical term, it don't sound like one. Oh, wow, did you go to med school? Uh, no, we went over this early. Hey, Doc, I do see another baby in there, although I'm no baby expert. You ain't no expert. I wanted to get in on this one as soon as I heard it was gonna be Brandy Boo up here in these here stirrups. What's that? Hey, get out of here, man. 
What are you doing? Don't talk that way. Oh, shit. What now? What's the matter? There's three up in there. Three what? Three babies, dumbass. Oh. I told you, I told you. Well, I, I see them now. Excuse me. Today is the day when these tiny little lives begin their journey. That God willing will outlast everybody in this room. Joe and I would appreciate it if you would show the proper reverence. Oh, baby, that's so good. She got the speeches down. That's poetry right there. You're my little MLK, baby. Mm, this brandy chick is pure gold, inside and out. Mm, mm. Woman like that, loving a man like him. I must have misjudged this fool. What do you say we deliver these babies? Wow, Martin Scorsese couldn't compose a better shot. What more could a guy ask for? That wasn't it. Hey, what did Brandon just say? Let's deliver us some babies. You got it, Joe Dirt. Give us some room. Three babies coming up. Push, what? push. Are they talking? I can hear them. Congratulations, you have triplets. What? Brandon, you hear that? We got us a little NASCAR pit crew. I'm so happy. Joe. It's sweet that you want to name him Brandy Jr., Brandy Brandy, and Brandy 2.0 Special Edition. <laughs> yeah. But they need real names. You're right. You're the brains of the outfit. All right. <laughs> How about this? I've been thinking. Def Lep, Skinner, and Seeger. So, be serious. I know. The Def Lep one is wrong. That's no good. <laughs> no. All right. How about this? 383 Magnum, 440 Magnum, and a 426. It's a hammy. <laughs> it's a hammy. Everyone loves a hammy. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I am naming them. All right. You constructed them. You did all the work. You made them perfect and amazing. What do you got? Cheyenne, Abilene, and Dakota. Oh, so perfect. You're so good at this. Three for three. Yeah. You did good. Look out. So everything was good. Sure, there were some bumps. Like this local guy, Jimmy Yawk. Man, he was worse than Robbie. What are you doing over there? It makes the smoke mini fresh. <laughs> what are you, a scientist now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I drive a truck for Kipper Tow Yard. I thought you knew that. Uh, and, and you suck what? I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, no. And second, who's feeding you all this false information? Well, that would be your mother, son. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I think you better stop. You better stop now, because like Omar say, you come at the king. You best not miss. But I, 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 I didn't come at you. Anyway, boys, I've been working on a song about the hottest shorty boo that ever did walk the face of the earth. And I'm telling you this right now, Brandy, one day she will be mine. Now this I swear. Check this out. I'm a son of a gun, not a box of six gun repeater. I'm a backdoor man, not just some Walmart reader, yeah. I'm rocking the double five five wiener. Looking for Brandy's love meter. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Damn it, I know I suck. I ain't got no poetry. See, a girl like Brandy, you got to have some poetry in you. But check it out, it's a catch 22. Because a woman like that puts the poetry in you. Damn it, DeFrisco! Oh, I hate poetry. I can't stand poetry. Damn, Joe Dirt. It ain't right. It ain't right. It should be me, man. It should be me, not Joe Dirt. Sorry about that guitar thing, man. Got out of hand. Yeah, it is what it is. We all have our cross to bear. And mine is Joe Piece of Dirt. Yeah, Jimmy. That dude was trouble waiting to happen. But my girls, man, look at them. They was growing like weeds. Three beautiful flowers. Yeah, more flowers than weeds. Forget weeds. They was growing like flowers. But deep down inside, I was feeling like, who was I to be happy, you know? So I was always nervous, feeling like it could all go away. Turns out I was right to be worried. Because soon, it all started unraveling on me. I got this job as a logger. 
And one day, it all started come crashing down on me. It came down real bad. One four. I think I cut 66 logs so far, man. Probably get a good price down at the mill. Hey, Dirt. Yeah. You strong? You know it. Pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> kind of walked into that one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dirt. You look like Elmer Fudd in that hat. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, more like Elmer Fudge Packer. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that guy in the cartoons, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Looking stupid, yeah. I seem to have forgotten my lunch. Maybe, uh, you give me an apple core when you're done with it? Nah, you can't have that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I do have something for you. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I join in? I got one for him. Come on, dirty dirt! Come on! Uh, I got one. I got one for a face to land on okay. myself. <laughs> oh, a little up close and personal. Oh, boy. That one's got sauerkraut. Oh. Hey, little logger boy. Sexy Joe. These boys giving you trouble? Oh, no, Missy. We're just, uh, we're just funning around. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, I guess so. Then keep this a secret. Oh! <laughs> That secret had some secret sauce in it. <laughs> that was hers the worst one. Oh, man, Missy. I still got some mouth gas left. Come on. Let's Ooh, get this guy a paper towel. <laughs> oh. Hey, Rat Crab, can you read Fox Boy? Tell me what I had for supper last night. <laughs> All right, that's it, man. 22 times ain't funny no more. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Farting in Joe Dirt's face? I will take my chances. <laughs> Daddy? Why are they farting on you? And right there, it started to dawn on them that their dad, the dad they used to think was Superman, wasn't no Superman. He was a loser. He was just Joe Dirt. Y'all leave him alone. Stop farting into his face. Or there's more whoop ass where that came from. Missy! What? I have a medical condition. Scram, girl. Can't catch a break. Honey. Are you all right? Yeah, Brandy, I can take care of myself. I don't need you kicking these guys' butts for me. I know you can take care of yourself, baby. Of course you can. And that was it. They saw right through me. I'm just a boy who was left at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> like some empty popsicle wrapper, you know, like cherry or lemon lime orange is another flavor I like. you see now, i never invented anything something great i didn't do anything like that i didn't invent anti-gravity or snossages or them back off jack yosemite sand mud flaps those are cool i wish i did i just thought if i was rich or famous you know i could make them proud and then they'd love me for real joe that's ridiculous you love them they love you go tell them it'll be fine I can't, because everything just went away like I knew it would. You know, one time when I was growing up, I was in one of my many foster homes. 
And they had a guy come speak to us, and he was super smart. He's wearing glasses and everything. He said something that stuck with me. I'll never forget it. He said, revolutions never happen in countries where things get so bad that people can't take it anymore. No. Revolutions happen when things just get a little bit better. People get a taste of what they've been missing. And I got that. I got my family, and now it's gone. Don, what happened? Well, this is a part of the story where it gets really weird. There was a storm coming. Man, a big storm. A mess up your hair, really bad storm. Head to the basement. Come on, cover your eyes. It's all gonna be okay. Cover your eyes. Come on, girls. Basement, go, babe. Come on, baby, hurry. Hurry. Daddy, I'm scared. It's just wind, babe. I know, baby, it's just wind. Daddy, my friend's just here. I left it in the trailer. It's okay, you'll be there tomorrow. the storm. What are, what are you, you talking, talking about, loser? Go make us some cash like Kanye. Treat us like North. <laughs> Vicious leader ever had up the smoking joker? No. You killed Lucky Louie. Hmm? And with just one house. No, no, man. I, I didn't kill nobody. I was spinning in the twister, and then there's a bad storm and threw me. What storm? Yeah, it was black clouds. Now it's all tweet tweet. I don't know what happened. You killed Lucky Louie. And now you're our new leader. As long as you were at ease. We go where you go, and we ride where you ride. Oh, man, these are nice. Oh, the ruby's a little fruity, but I'll take them. <laughs> Name's Vogel. What's your name, brother? Joe. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirte. Which is it? Oh, uh, Joe Dirt. Y'all hear that? All hail Joe Dirt! All hail Joe Dirt! You guys ain't gonna fart on me, are you? <laughs> Well, long story short, we stomped those three dudes so bad they gotta take their boots off to piss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that kind of ass kicking fun's an everyday thing for us, and now you get to tell us who to kick and in which ass. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Well, <laughs> kind of like monkey see, monkey do. I like that. Okay, how about this? I need a vet, because these puppies are sick. I need a vet, because these puppies are sick. <laughs> <laughs> not bad. I'm, I'm a good leader. 
<laughs> but I'm actually not. I'm no good. I don't. I couldn't lead a colony of ants to a melting Hershey bar, to be honest. Believe me, I tried. But I do have three daughters I want you to meet. I got a pretty wife. I'm bringing her down. We'll all have fun, maybe brunch. But by the way, you know, all the kid stuff, blah, blah. So no talking about fighting and drinking and spitting and punching and kicking. You get it. Because, you know, that kind of violent imagery for a child, I don't want. Besides, this is the year 2015. I don't know about even a motorcycle gang fighting, per se. It's yeah. not 2015. It's 1965. No, I'm saying now is 2015, June 2015. No, it's definitely June. But it ain't no 2015, Mr. Dirt. This is June 1965. June 1965? Well, if that's true, I'll be running around in diapers. That's when I was born. I don't got no diapers on. <laughs> but anyway, I like it here, and I want to meet everybody. And I think as a new leader, I'm going to name everybody. Because you know gangs have nicknames. I think that's fun. I'm going to start in the back. You think I'm ignoring you? Back there, you got sort of a beak on your nose, <laughs> like uh, a little bit like a bird. What's a funny bird name? Uh, bird's not. That's too uninteresting. A mean one is vulture. <laughs> Your vulture. From now on, anyone ask you? Okay, let's look around the room. All right, here we go. There's a uh, mean Marvin, no soap Sam, douchebag, jolly mean giant, church burner, fruit loop, palm tree, crazy eyes, dopey, inky, more like stinky. <laughs> we got pillow biter, mm, reload, no nuts, mama hates you, gooey load, mm, queefy. Jockstrap Johnny? Okay. <laughs> Teabagger Vance. Nucky Futz. Charlie Dog. Super dumb. There's going to hell. There's Gary. Con artist Connie. One eye. Two eye. Ah, two eyes no good. Everybody's two eye, right? That's I'm running out. Uh, porn stash. Little killer. Medium killer. Flat ass. Boogie oogie. Cher. Mitch the bitch. <laughs> Kneecaps. No teeth. Knock knock. Who's there? You're ugly. <laughs> ugly. That whole thing is your nickname. And you are, uh, I forgot you, Foggle. How about lead singer of Blue Oyster Cult? <laughs> You'll get that one. <laughs> That's funny. You see them. You get good. Maybe the bass player is exact. Anyway, as your new leader, I command ye to roll up your sleeves and let's do some charity work. Let's do some good for once, you know? Let's get out there and help because that's where we want to be when Jesus comes back. Who's with me? Come on now, let's do this. You hear that, everybody? Ah. A little queer wants us to help people in need. Oh, yeah? Is that queer, man? Is that queer? Think this is queer? Yes. What? Well, next time, don't make it a question. You're all like, is this queer? So that just walks you right into the answer, which is yes. Just make it a statement, dumbass. Oh, yeah? What about? Oh, yeah. Hey, Foggy, you're strong. <laughs> strong smelling. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Hold him up. Hold him up. Ooh, gotcha. Took you that long to think of that? Uh, to be honest, I thought of it about a week ago, and then uh, I've been waiting to use it, but I didn't think I would. It's been in the chamber, loaded up. And guess who got it? You. Woo! Guess what else? I got your boots. You think you're gonna get them back? Not quite, Termite. Give us those boots! I'm running away. Good luck catching me. Which way am I going? Get back here! You ain't man enough to wear those boots! You know that, Joe Dirt! You ain't nothing! You know that in your heart! We will track you to the gates of hell! Let's go. Yeah. Stupid Foggle. What a dumb name. He needs a cool name like Joe. Dear Tay, hey, Foggle, why don't you go play Boggle? God dang, that's so funny, why didn't I say it? I think all the good ones too late. Well, I got my tennis shoes and his stupid boots. Woohoo! Well, I don't need these sneakers no more. Whoopee! Ha <laughs> ha, fetch that, Boggle. Man, it usually takes me 27 times. Nice. Hey. How come you threw your sneakers up over that power line? Oh, you never seen that before? No, silly head. Silly head, 1965. I must have traveled through some sort of vortex and tumbled through time like a time traveler. I don't know what's happening, but I'll tell you, that happens in the future. We find out carbs are bad for you. Mm, just a heads up. Hey, you really from the future? Yeah, man. Maybe you should move down to Louisiana and help me start my fishing business. 
you and I together, man, we could catch a lot of shrimp. I mean, there's rock shrimp, Atlantic shrimp, salt shrimp, boo-boo shrimp, tater shrimp, shrimp on a stick, shrimp, romalade shrimp, and your pasta shrimp. And, you know, I fuck shrimp. Okay, so no on the shrimp biz. What's the situation with your hair? Did I call your number? Are we in a deli? We are not, and I did not. Goodbye. Did you call number three? Uh... Did I call number? No, that was a metaphor. This ain't really a bakery, man. Yeah, I, I know. I was just patiently waiting my turn. You see that? He's patiently waiting his turn, all right? That's nice, instead of yelling out nonsense. Yeah. One day I'm going to dig a hole. Well, that's great, man. See, there you go. You're going to have a great big hole. It's going to be the biggest one, and I'm glad you're setting goals. It's going to be in my living room. Yeah, well, you had me, then you lost me there. Are you married? I am married. Now, that's a normal question, man. I'm married to Brandy. She's sweet. Wait a minute. Is she like a great big fat person? A great big fat person? She is not. She's about 115, I'm guessing. Uh, I really wish those numbers were turned around. Like 511? Well, then she'd be a great big fat person. Uh, yeah, no. I like her 115. Anything over like 400, I'm not super attracted to. I'd like to cut her skin off and then sew it together so that I could wear it as a human tracksuit. Hmm. Maybe I'm hearing you wrong. It sounds a little, um, not normal what you're saying. My name's Bob. Uh, if I had any friends, they'd call me Buffalo Bob. Uh, why don't you give me a call if your wife ever becomes a great big fat person? Buffalo Bob, that sounds from... <gasps> you have no idea what kind of hell I can bring you! Oh, all right, enough, you broken record. Does what it's told! Say it, don't spray it, brother, dang. Buffalo Bob! Oh, man! Was that all in my living room? Because that's step one. Uh, gotta run. There's a huge crazy party behind that shed. You can go, there's three tickets left. <laughs>
What are you wearing? That looks funny. I'm sorry, do I know you? Brandy? And my name isn't Brandy. I'm Ashleen. Well, if it's 1965 and you're Ashleen. Yeah, it's 1965, Strangeo. What about it, you freaky guy? Oh my God, are you Brandy's mom? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but I have always liked the name Brandy. I can see me naming a daughter that. Yeah, you can, because you do. Why are you talking to our girls? And what's the deal with your hair, you weirdo? Yeah, show him your muscles, fellas. Maybe he'll scram. And scram fast. Check this out. You even lift? <sighs> Listen, I better go because these guys are getting a little cranky, all right? So listen, Ashleen, I think I came here to the past to fix something about myself, you know? So I, I deserve the daughter that you're gonna have one day. I don't know what you mean. I know, it sounds, I don't know either. And by the way, do not eat Jimmy's popcorn, okay? Jimmy? Oh, no, his name is Rory. Rory Yock. Oh, fudge! That's Jimmy's dad. Oh, man, this shit just got officially weird. Hey, you watch your language, buddy boy fella. You want a big bar of soap in your mouth? Hey, are you a vet? Because these puppies are sick, huh? Yeah, you like that one? Talk the fist, because the hand is pissed. Oh, those are from the future. You just got futurized. You got a burn, and it came down from the future and got you. You're a little dazed right now. It'll go away, but don't fight it. Just shh. Hey, he's going to give you the popcorn surprise. What's a popcorn surprise? I'll give you a hint. It's more surprise than popcorn, OK? Just promise me you don't put your hand in that cup, all right? Just think of me as your guardian angel, all right? Looking out for the love of my life. Bye. How are you, son? This movie's a hoot, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what are, you, what are you doing here? Mom. I want some popcorn. Mom, what do you got? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, yeah, dude, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, 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 don't stop, don't stop. I like that. Oh, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. It won't come out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Books in mint condition for 10 cents a piece? Not bad. Give Joe Dirt lemons, he's gonna make Golden Maid. <laughs> nah, lemonade, he's gonna make lemonade. This must be why I'm here to get rich. So my girls will love me for real instead of the loser that I am. I'll buy them presents. Oh, yeah. This one is gonna buy Abilene braces. This one's gonna buy braces for Dakota. And this one, what could I get Cheyenne? I get braces. And this, Brandy. Mm. You're gonna get a new used car. Don't worry, little tree, that won't hurt you. You're gonna grow up big and strong. <laughs> Pretty nice, take that Home Depot. Yeah, lots of garden digging. Well, that was easy. Now that I'm rich, I'm gonna get back from a trailer. So that's where this whole thing started, and uh, maybe that's where this whole thing ends. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Crap. Well, well, well. If it isn't Joe Dirt. Hey, Foggle. Now, see, when I ride with a man like this guy, I got a nice thick phone book between us like this thing right here. That way, we're not really touching each other. Right. Now, Joe here, if he were to ride behind a man, he probably wouldn't have a phone book dividing him from the other man. <laughs> no, no, no. He would say, uh, no, I don't need no phone book in between us because I'd rather be nice and cozy. <laughs> or if he put something in between him and the other man, he would want it to be a little bit thinner, like a magazine. <laughs> or uh, like a menu. <laughs> really thin menu. Understood, like a Kleenex. 
<laughs> you wish you thought a clean that, could you? I want those boots, Joe. Foggle, look what I'm doing. I'm taking them off. You know you ain't man enough to wear those boots. You give them to me, boy. No. What if I unzipped and rubbed them on my private parts? <laughs> you wouldn't like that. You don't put that nowhere near your thingy. Oh, does that scare you? <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I'm crazy. I'll do it. Oh, look. Here come the police. Too bad, because you're the bad guy. I'm a good guy. Hey! Are you Joe Dirt? Oh, yeah. Hey there. Hi there. Ho there, officer. What is crapping in? Figured it was you. You had that weird hairdo they said you called a mullet. Oh, yeah, that's me. Did you buy comic books with uh, this here money? Oh, yeah, you know I did. That's right. Well, then you're under arrest for using counterfeit money. What? No, I, it ain't counterfeit. It's future money from my future pocket. You just tell that to them down at the station. No, oh, I'm under arrest, so those guys can't kill me now. What guys? Those guys! See you later, I'm innocent, sorry! Hey, get back here! Oh, I bumped your car, sorry! Hey, come on, we gotta go get him. Pursuit on foot going uh, west on Hartford. Get over, Joe Dirk! We're your personal demons from hell! Let's go. Where's my phone book? So I was on the lam. They even let the dogs out on me and everything. But I got away, man. I pretended to be a scarecrow in a field. Them stupid cops, they never caught me. What about the dogs? Uh, the dogs, I don't know. Man, I don't remember. Anyway, so there I was, on the run. Escaped from the police. Well, police dogs have a real good sense of smell. Even if you were a scarecrow, how could the dogs not find you? Uh, you know, they did find me, but I got lucky. They just, uh, walked away. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, how did they just walk away? I mean, they just walked away? They knocked me over on the pole on the ground, and they just walked away. I don't know. They had dog stuff to do. I it, can't your folks imagine. Why would, the why would they just walk away? God dang, with the dogs. Who gives a care? The Sorry. dogs. All right, you got to solve the case. All right, they all humped me. Is that what you want to know? You found it out, Nancy Drew. You solved the case of the horny dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Glad you got a good chuckle out of it. That was terrible. That was man's best friend. More like man's best friend with benefits. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you started the dogs like to hump people's legs bad, but, but think about it. You started the shoes on the line and the mullet. You know, you might be like the white trash Johnny Appleseed. Well, yeah. maybe. You know, once I extricated myself from the dog pile, they were done, uh, basically, once they got the money shot, if you get my drift, which I hope you don't. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so there it was, on the run. I was running through the night, and you can't believe what I saw. <sighs> Rubies. Like any place sounds like boobies. <laughs> oh, man. Where's the crowd when you need them? I guess some LOLs are going. That singer looks like a young Ronnie Van Zandt. Wait, that's Ronnie, Bob, Gary? Oh my God, this is Leonard Skinner. Before they were Skinner. What, what, what? Oh man. Man. You guys are so good. Also, you really dug our sound, huh? What? Uh, I, I do think you guys have potential. <laughs> well, cool, because we're just barely scratching by, not making a dime. Well, I think that's all going to change. <laughs> but I have one criticism. And don't, do not take this the wrong way. I'm just saying maybe tinker with the name of the band, you know? You don't like the Wildcats? No, yeah, no, I don't. Actually, because Wildcats is too, like, generic and boring like any animal. It's like meerkat, you know? You know, meerkat manner, you don't know. But it's just, it needs to be more distinct, I feel. Distinct? 
Yeah, I mean, this is rock and roll. A name means everything, man. All the cool bands have cool names. You want to kick ass, you want it to stand out. Wildcats, I just don't think does it, man. Do you, do you got any other ideas? Hey, I got one. What about Wham? Wham? What? It sounds kick ass, right? It's like Wham. It says if you mess with us, we'll beat you down. We'll blow you away. We don't care where, in a dark alley or in a public toilet. I feel like Wham is just gut instinct, not the way to go. What about Frankie Goes to Hollywood? Absolutely not. What about Cher? Cher? What about Air Supply? Oh my God, be real. What about Kaja Gugu? What? New kids on the block? What, we're getting colder. Okay, you said we're gonna be big, right? Going straight to the top. Mm -hmm. All right, then One Direction. Well, what is crapping in it? Uh, I do Pet Shop Boys, though. What about Spice Boys? That's, yeah, that's pretty boys. good, yeah. yeah. Come on, man, we need some contenders here. What is this crap? All right, I got one. Now get ready for this, okay? It's a little out of left field, but be open-minded. Leonard Skinner. No, 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 no a, not that guy. Gym He's coach's not, name, no. man. We don't even yeah. like that guy. I know legend has it, it's your gym coach. Well, what legend? Ah, ah, that's a long story. But, but seriously, guys, I know he's your coach, but you change it a little bit. You add a D, you add a random Y, another renegade Y over here, and then it's Leonard Skinner and Presto Change. Your people remember that. Uh, no, that guy gave me I don't know about Leonard Skinner, man. Do you remember that time he chased the other coach around his underwear in the gym? Yeah, that guy's just whacked out. But you're... So good. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, trust me, you guys are gonna be big. That song is so perfect. I'm telling you, that's like an anthem, like a southern toe tapper, to say the least, man. On a hugeometer, it's gonna break the needle. Like a big wedding song? More like divorce. Really? Where does it go, man? It's too slow. Too slow, listen to this guy. Oh, my God, it's gonna be nine minutes. Nine minute tune. Yeah, I know. I mean, it could be. It could be 908. Nine minutes, eight seconds. Yeah. When you got it that good, don't rush it. What I would do, I would talk at the beginning, sing, sing. If it's about a bird, you know, letting it go free. And then maybe just kill some time in the middle with an instrumental. Like anything, I would probably go. Yeah. Oh, man, you got it. I kid you not, like I said, you're gonna be rich and famous. Trust the shit out of me on this one. Yeah, big rock stars with a yeah. chuck full of money yeah. and girls and jamming of the night, living the great life. Huh? You know it, man, exactly. Everyone's gonna look up to you. You're gonna have tons of fans. Your kids are gonna be proud of you. Your family's gonna have so much money. Buy anything you want. We could buy our own airplane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was eight years old when I heard about that plane crash. It just goes to show you, you never really know what's going on in people's lives, you know? Everything can look great, and you can wish you were them, but then... Sounds like a lesson in there. Yeah, I know there's a lesson, and I know I was supposed to walk into that club and meet Skinner that night, but I ain't real smart, and my head always feels all jingly-jangly, which is <laughs> a southern term meaning gangly wangly there's always noise in it like if people are dropping change in there and not picking up the pennies it just it makes me crazy man but but then when i think i'm starting to figure stuff out along come these assholes get us the donuts get back here with those boots you little bitch don't you get on that train don't you get on that train Hey, <laughs> take that, Bobo, what a bird. Ah, ah, oh, man. Oh. And then
And so there I was, just clickety-clacking through the night. I got to thinking, how does this Foggle dude and all them always know where I am? It's almost like they're living inside my head, you know? I mean, there's definitely a lot of empty space in there. But where would they put their motorcycles? Where would they go to the bathroom? I want whatever. Oh, I'm sick of being alone. I wish Brandy was here right now. I can pretend she's here. I got a few minutes. Ah, okay. In the bedroom, I come up behind, tickle her back, pull that scrunchie out. Yeah, get the hair down. Pick up the pace, pick up the pace. Sorry, buddy. Huh? I light my cigar. Show was just starting. Keep going. No, you didn't see nothing. Yeah, we did. <laughs> you over there looking like a paint shaker going at it. <laughs> can we get in on that action? <laughs> yeah, maybe we can figure out some kind of naked pyramid <laughs> or something, huh? <laughs> I got huh? that idea. Come on, Come on little oh, guy. Man, I ain't no party boy. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Huh? <sighs> oh, just a dream. Oh, thank God. Oh, again? But this time, not just them. You get us, too. Oh, OK. You like sausages, Joe? I like sausage. I usually get bacon, but I mix it up. I like to have fun at breakfast, you know. Maybe you should take a little nibble off mine. No, that's not supposed to be that. Don't walk here. You got some Viagra? No. No. It's me, Joe. Kicking wing? Holy crap on a crutch. What's up? I missed you. But they don't call me kicking wing anymore. I'm kicking ass. I took your advice. Oh, man. That's a good one. That's cool. I got tons of good ideas, man. So where have you been? How's the fireworks game? Pew, pew. I'm not in the fireworks game, Joe. Growth potential wasn't enough. I'm a drug dealer now. What? You don't do drugs? I don't get high on my supply. Oh, that's catchy. Baby, who's this clown? This is the legendary Joe Dirt. Good friend. So you sell heroin and all that kind of crap? No, just aspirin and weed. What? I can get aspirin from a baby. I can get weed in a vending machine in Denver. Because you know what? No one gives a care about weed anymore. Understand, rubber band? Well, aspirin and weed is the ones I like. Oh, well, that's your problem. You're not selling to the mirror, my man. You're forgetting about the consumer again. I'm a really good drug dealer. Um, Kim Possible. You're gonna stand there calling yourself a really good drug dealer, and you ain't got no crystal meth, no black tar. These are the basics. No Zanny bars, white crosses, special K, moon rocks, no zippets, poppets, whippets, black beauties or cocaine, also known as yayo, power flower, talk chalk, devil's dandruff, or a sniff head jiff head. No. No shenane, no JJ. No, just aspirins and weed. So you're supposed to be taken seriously in your chosen new profession. And you don't move no purple microdot, no gold paint to huff, no angel dust, PCP, Molly, Charlie, Charlie Car, crank, ice, crack, boom, pow, schnizzle, zoomers, boomers, husker doos. Oh, wait, I think that's a firecracker, isn't it? No, it's both. Uh, no yellow jackets, morning wood, or one single bottle of codeine cough syrup. With or without the Jolly Rancher. You must get high all the time. You seem psycho. Oh, uh, wait, oh, is this a dream? Yeah, this is gonna be a dream. Oh, then I can say something mean back. All right, say it again. You must get high all the time. You seem psycho. Oh, you must bone a lot of dudes. You seem like a whore. I do. Oh, backfire. Oh, I'm so glad it's a dream. You ain't a drug dealer. You're right, Joe. It is a dream. Come on, kicking ass. Kick him off the train. I want to get high. Don't you understand, Joe? This whole dream represents you trying to become something you shouldn't be. Think about that, Joe. Oh, man, it was great to see Kicking Wing, but not as a drug dealer. And that's when it hit me what, what, what he was trying to tell me. What he wanted me to figure out was uh, then I got sleepy. Yo. Molly Mullitson. It's me, the clumsy Segway fairy. You're dreaming. We're inside a dream that's inside a daydream that's being influenced by a vague sense of ennui 
and this is Joe Dirt 2, and why have we overwritten this? Now go back to sleep, you're gonna wake up in the middle of nowhere, REM. Them dreams is trying to tell me something, especially kicking wings. I don't even know what Xander Kelly was doing in there, and I have no idea what ennui means either. All in all, I was starting to feel like Alice in Wonderland. You know, Ballas was a cool dude, and Wonderland was like a place where everyone benches a lot, and you're cool, and yeah, that's a bad comparison, but things was definitely getting weirder. Hey, guys, what's crappin'? What's your name? <laughs> well, listen, it's a bit unusual, and I've heard all the jokes, and I've heard them about my hair, so might as well skip it. It's Joe Dirt. Dirt? Huh. It's a pretty shitty name, don't you think? Yeah, I guess we're not gonna skip it. Yeah, listen, it could have been Connor, or Willow, or Aiden, or Jaden, or maybe Kobe, or Tristan. Yeah, how's your health? That's a bit personal. <laughs> Well, my health is good. I feel like it might get worse in a few minutes. Uh, you, you ain't a smoker, huh? No, but I do dip skull. Just a pinch of trim of cheek and gum. I've tried cope, you know, between us. But it's a little strong. I get dizzy. I like to call it the poor man's amusement ride. Yeah. You're about to go on a big ride. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Somebody's getting a bad stitching award. What they do? Uh, uh, seashell. Oh, I'm at the beach. Oh, sandcastle time. Ah. So they harvested me. What? Yeah. Harvested you? Yeah, they dug deep. They got my kidney. They got my gallbladder, they got some liver parts. I guess they were making some cat food or something, I don't know. Oh, I, I thought that was just like an urban legend, how creepy. Yeah, yeah. you know, maybe I started out. <laughs> After the surgery, they left all kinds of crap inside of me, like, you know, on accident, I'm guessing. What? They left uh, scissors inside me. Uh, they left a uh, hamburger wrapper. 39 cents and change. Yeah, some of those plastic pluggy things that you stick in a corn cob to hold it better. Also, one of them cans that says moo when you turn it upside down. No. You see nothing? Hang on. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you laughing. My little girls would laugh so hard at that. They think it's so funny. I wish I could hear that. So where was this beach? Uh, actually, it's a desert island. I was there a long time. About 12 years. Dear whoever finds this message in a bottle, I'm trapped on a desert island, and I'm losing hope of ever being found, man. Uh, I probably just wasted time writing the word man. It wasn't a necessary word, and I don't have much ink, so that's dumb. I'm using my own blood. I'm crossing off man, sorry for the mess. As I gaze out the sea of the rocks that look like a giant church steeple, it makes me think of the day I married the love of my life, Brandy. I miss her. I miss my girls. I'm lonely out my ass. I hope somebody gets this and replies. P.S. No smokers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Signed, Joe Deerte. PPS, AKA Joe Dirt. I ain't fooling nobody with the Deerte thing. I'll give up on it.
Dear Joe Dirt, you sound so lonely and lost. <laughs> and as I gaze out of my Marriott hotel window, I can see the same church steeple rocks you mentioned in your letter. <laughs> anyway, what hotel are you staying in? I'm in room 347. Write me back <laughs> or call. Marriott? What the fuck? <laughs> 12 years on this culture, effing freaking fucking Taco Bell. Hey, mister. Huh? Are you Bigfoot? What? No, man, no, I'm not Bigfoot. I'm tired foot. <laughs> hey, Bigfoot, why did you climb all those rocks over there instead of using this trail? <laughs> What year is it? It's 1977, Bigfoot. Oh, man, what what city am I in? It's Miami, Bigfoot. Oh, man, I need to go down just to wipe. It's rough down there. I've been wiping with seaweed and clamshells for 12 years. Gross. Ew, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Bye, Bigfoot. You, oh, you got to get going? OK. Yeah, see you later, Bigfoot. OK, I'll catch you later. Maybe I'll ride it in a bottle and throw it to you. I'm kidding. Wait, are you, is this the way down? Seven cents for all new JD threads. Woo! Now I just gotta get the bugs out of my hair. Skinnered, man, those poor guys. I'm complaining about my stupid problems and these guys. Screw them, man. I was on an island for 10 years. I'm in Florida. What a dumb crap. I just get stupider. Wait a second. Is that dude Clem? Wait, that's Clem. Hey, Clem. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Clem. I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Frank, 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 Frank. Clem, hey, Mr. DeBenedetti. I'm sorry. This is, uh, my name's Joe Dirt. I'm from the future. I know it sounds crazy. I heard about the future. Everybody's got a big head, right? Enlarged. Eat pills to live. You fly around with a jet pack. Ah, not. Quite yet, I mean, we have a bedazzler. Jetpacks are not at the Walmart just as of now, but we have the Cronut. It's really doing well. I ate 30 once. I was drunk, it was like 28, but I brag and say 30. But here's the real thing. In the future, I just wanna tell you, it sounds crazy, I know, but we're friends. You're like a dad to me. I mean, we hang out and, and you live in Silvertown. You saved me from bullies. Vinny, whack this kid. He's talking nonsense. Then dump his body in a trunk, then dump his crazy hair in a different trunk. You got it, Uncle Frank. No, no, Mr. Vinny, wait, once I, I'm telling you, I'm from the future, I'll prove it. Oh, there's a TV. What's that, NASCAR? I know NASCAR. That, that's Daytona 500, I bet. I could tell you who wins. Is that good? If this was true, you would become very important. You got five seconds, I start counting now three. What? Wait, what happened to one and two? I had them whacked, four. Wait, God. Okay, hold on. Daytona Speedway, 1977. That's, uh, oh my God, Richard Petty, I think, STP car. Then you got uh, Darrell Waltrip and Gatorade, AJ Foyt is third, then Donnie Allison, then who, who's fifth? Five. Keo Yarborough, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Guys, we just found a goose that lays the golden eggs. Oh, I laid him. This goose's name is what? I'm Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Yeah, okay. It's all right. This was all paying off. We was getting richer. I was getting richer. But I was missing my family. Really missing them, something awful. It sounds crazy, but I recorded a bunch of actresses doing a little jibber-jabber, you know, to remind me of home. Hey, Joe Dirt, watch my cartwheel.
cartwheel. Wait, no, not show dirt. Daddy, watch my cartwheel. Dad, look, I can do a back handspring. Can you do a flip too? So anyway, that's the whole story. And I know you believe me because all those races I predicted and stuff came true. But anyway, Clem, I, I know the future, and I know something about you, and I know something about your wife. We must not know. We're not supposed to know the future that is laid out for us. Because choices must remain for us to make. That's how it must be. What, are you saying that if you could learn what's going to happen in the future, you don't even want to know? Each day must remain without horizon. And we save it for the now. OK, yeah, I know what you're saying. That you never know how hot it is until you lose your shade tree. No, I speak with more elegance than that. I'm not talking trifles from a calendar or a bumper sticker or the poster of that cat. You've seen it. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. The cat hangs upside down from a tree. Underneath the cat, it says, hang in there. Right. This is nonsense. The cat must not just hang there. The cat must go fix its problems. The cat must find the thing that gives it trouble and smack that thing in the side of the head with a brick. The cat must ask, does your mother sew? Huh? Kaboom buff. Get it to stitch that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, cats are hard to train, I know. But Clem, I mean, Mr. Mr. Benedetti. You've convinced me that we are friends in the future. Call me Clem. Oh, oh, man. I love it. Well, Clem, you just turned my life around, man. You made me rich. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is like a crazy accident. I saw you because now I'm going to be able to buy my kids so much stuff. I'm going to be so important to them now. Joan, I, th I think you have not learned all the things you need to know from me. But for now, there's something more important that bothers me, concerns me. This girl you talk about, this Brandy, yeah. there's something that nags me in the back of my head. What if you miss the first time you meet her? Everything's going to be off. The future's going to be batshit crazy. Ah. Oh. That's so true. That's so smart. I didn't think of that. Clem, I need to make it back to where I first met Brandy to make everything happen. That's when her dog's balls got stuck on a porch. He was licking his balls, and it was 40 below zero outside. What do you expect? Yeah. Joe, let's have one for the road. I, I, I don't even know if I should have a drink because I, I got my liver taken out. Yeah. So. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Huh? Okay, let's do it. Okay. No kidney, no problem. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Yeah. You're awake. Not feeling good, I bet, huh? Oh, I think I was drunk, because, you know, I had some of my innards harvested. Yeah, that would explain the empty spots on the x-ray. But drunk is an understatement. They found you running naked with a Roman candle sticking out of your ass. You tried to eat a bunch of pigeons. Then you climbed on stage at a Donny Osmond concert, screaming, what do y'all do with Van Halen? And then this huge guy punched you incredibly hard, directly in your testicles. Oh, check this out. Oh, you're gonna love this. Oh, that's me! Your balls are basically like, hey, man, let's go see what his throat is talking about. Oh! There was a tour bus that was driving by. You know, it was a bunch of Japanese, and you know how those people are with their cameras. My wife is Asian. What's up with the jokes? Like, what are you, some grand wizard or something? No, man, I, I didn't even say nothing. You nodded. You nodded like a motherfucker. Anyway. The punch was so masterful that your testicles are up way inside you, and they would have gone a lot higher had they not bounced off your heart. Oh, wait, my, my ball sacks your, where? Your balls are in your stomach, and your sacks are literally being digested as we speak. And that's not fantastic. So what we're going to have to do is yank them out. You mean gently extract? Yes. By extract, we mean yank. And so we have these things that look like salad tongs, actually. They are solid tongs from the Sizzler salad bar. You know, there's there's always some good pussy at Sizzler. Sizzler, yeah. I'm usually <laughs> buried in cornbread. I don't look up. I yeah. usually say this may hurt a bit, but this is definitely gonna hurt. All right, are you ready? Let's breathe. 
Whoa, is there a parakeet? Huh? In here? Ah! <laughs> Damn, oh. man. Why are you yelling? Why did you yell in my ear? Well, it hurt like a mofo. Oh, well, yeah, but what about my ear? You could have turned your face that way. You could have screamed at that wall. But you wanted to yell in my ear. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Well, good news? Uh, you can say that I definitely extracted your balls. A lot of credit goes to the workout regimen I'm in mean, on. Uh, uh, they're, they're hanging a little low, man. They do hang, but how low? Remember clackers? Oh, clackers, that's my balls all. Oh, that's too far. Don't worry, balls have a great healing mechanism. You'll be back May, June. Wait, May or June? I gotta go to Silvertown by tomorrow. Uh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't travel. See, your balls look like tube socks with the lemons in them. And that's usually the side effect from the yanktotomy I perform. Oh, but if I don't go to Silvertown, I don't meet Brandy. And my whole future's thrown off, you understand? I gotta go. Okay. Good evening, folks. We'll be starting our descent into Spokane, Washington in a few minutes. So if anybody needs to use the restroom, Please do so now. Good idea. I'm gonna take a pee real quick. Oh. Oh! -ho. Turbulence, everybody. <laughs> Give me a second. Are those your balls? Yeah. yeah. Is that an apple? A little, little turbulente. Too much turb. Gotta sit down and pee like a little girl. <laughs> Sir, are you okay in there? No, look! My nuts got sucked in, look! Oh my god! Oh, what'd you do that for? That's so stupid! I'm not on trial here! I did an accident! What's going on? Oh, good, sweet. I need help. God. This okay. man's gotten his ball sack stuck down the toilet. Uh, his... I just got sucked as an accident. I pushed the thing. I'm sorry. I, I quit. I oh, no, I no, hate no, no. balls to start off with. No, I'm not. Don't quit. No, 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 you are not. I need help. You out with this. I don't know what to do. They didn't deal with this in stewardess school. <sighs> Sir, you got to lift them up when I flush, OK? No, right, that doesn't ready? sound like it's going to work. One, two, three. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. It didn't work, Well, we're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. One, two, three. No, 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 no. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do it. I never say that B word, but it took too much. You can't do that. We need to think of a new strategy. Oh. What is going on out here, ladies? Have a look. What is? I'm trying to. What the? Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Uh. <sighs> I'm gonna get you guys some help. Quick. Let's clean that up. You want me to clean this up first or get the guys' balls out of the toilet? Watch your face, sir. It's coming in. Get out of here with your foot! No. So I need you to return to your seat. You gotta get your nuts up out of that. Don't kick me, Jackie Chan! <laughs> I passed out for a minute. Oh right. Not again! <laughs> Do you really have to parade me across the tarmac? Is there not a shortcut? I'm out here on display. Hey, gals. I'm usually in a Hemi. Oh, man. Is there a second gear on this? You see where that is, right? You see it. It's crazy. Because that his left nut is right in that one gear, right there in the gearbox. And his other one, his other nut, where do you take off from? Miami. Miami? His other nut's probably back in Miami. Where? They might have to ship it to you, buddy. Are you funning me? Just hand me pliers and uh, what do you think about salt? A saw? Wait, like a hacksaw? Like to hack it off? No, no, no saw by my balls, thanks. Hey, buddy, can you let us concentrate? How long is this gonna take? Like four or five hours, whatever, don't matter. Four or five hours? No way, man. I gotta take an airplane to Idaho. I gotta be honest, man. Planes are out of the question. You're gonna have to drive. Drive? I can't drive with these balls. Plus, I drive Mopar, not some crummy rental car. So I rented a car. And now I was heading home. But of course, I ran out of gas. Typical. Everyone saw that coming. And then I hopped a train, and that was fun, because the guy even let me drive it for a second. 
Well, I screwed that up fast. I didn't stick around to fill out no paperwork. I just started running. I'm actually a good runner. I'm actually not. Dirty Joe Dirt. Oh, man. Hey, Foggle. Your phone books look a little thinner these days. <laughs> Look, how about you give us some boots, and we'll kill you only half as slow as we was gonna. How did you find me, man? I met you back in 1965. Joe Dirt, we're the dream you can't slip. The ache in your heart, with the darkness just outside of your life. I've been hounding you since the day you was left behind like garbage by your ma and pa. An allegory and reality. And your time is up. This is gonna be good. Hey! I don't like your tone. You're talking to my boy all wrong. Hey, Clem! Who are you? I come to check on my boy Joe Dirt. He's my goose that lays the golden eggs. You don't mess with my goose unless you're a gander. Tell me, are you a gander? No. No, I'm not a gander. Clem, I'm so glad to see you, man. I got to get out of here. I got to go to Brandy's house right now. I want those boots, pissant! Joe, go meet your woman. I will take care of these Dunskys. You know, we're kind of running the show here. We've got our uh, chains and knives. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight, especially if I got the guns. Not now, darling. Hey, Clem, you don't have to do this for me, buddy. Joe, darling, we may meet again someday. I don't know. But for that to happen, you must meet your destiny. You've learned how hot it is when you lose your shade tree. Go get your shade tree back. Thanks, man. Hey, by the way, why doesn't it sound fruity when you say that? You don't have time for the explanation. I don't. Bye, Fargo. I got to go. Woo-hoo-hoo. Joe, dirt. Oh, ha. And you, you're done with Joe Dirt. You must never haunt his dreams again. You must never be that voice of doubt that makes him think he's not good. You dance with Joe Dirt. He's done. I'll let you know when it's over. Hey, does your mother so? Kaboom, blah! to stitch that! Charlie! We gotta get you unstuck. Is there anybody out there that will help me? Oh, it's you. Yeah. Thank goodness. We gotta help Charlie. I was born to help Charlie. What's going on? Uh, I was thinking maybe warm water and a spatula. That's a great idea. Okay. All right. Oh man, keep your mouth shut, Mud. <laughs> all right. I'm looking at you too. He's all good. Come on back. <gasps> Charlie! <laughs> Jimmy, thank you. You're welcome. It ain't nothing. How did you do that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's, that's a guy thing right there. Brandy, hey. I'm sorry. Do I know you? It's me, Brandy Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt? What kind of name is that? It's me. We're supposed to meet here right now, right ex exactly now with Charlie. We become friends, and, and eventually we get married. Boy, what are you talking about? Is you wasted or something? Um, Mr. Dirt, I can't talk right now. Jimmy and I need to tend to my dog. Brandy, I'm rich now. I'm super rich. I'm somebody that's worth loving. Mr. Dirt, money doesn't interest me all that much. I'm more interested in a man that is kind, like somebody that would help a dog in distress. Where hell, just yesterday? I saved 15 raccoons by giving them mouth to mouth because they was choking on garbage and stuff. 
Heck, I'll save anybody. Especially you, Brandy. You know, because I am armed. A-R-M-D <laughs> right there, bro. Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Dart. Yeah, later. I missed my destiny. Just like that, it was all gone. I'm sorry, Joe. I really am. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Right now, you're probably the only friend I have. Oh, there's my bus. See ya. Wow, we're the fire, lady. <laughs> <laughs> He got kicked to the car. So we dirt fucked up a couple of things. <laughs> Damn, she just left him. <laughs> that boy was left with nothing. But, uh, you know, last time all he had was his freedom. I mean, you know what freedom is. Yeah. yeah. Just, just another, another word for nothing, nothing left to lose. <laughs> You all grown up and being Starsky and Putz. I had a cousin named Randy. Yeah. But much like Ned Beatty braced against the shale wall in Deliverance, this time he's got shit tons to lose. But uh, come on, it's Joe Dirt. There's always one more ace up his wife, Peter. Let's pick this story back up. What's up? Hey, dude. Where'd you come from? You scared the crap out of me. It looks like you've just completely given up, huh, Joe? Look at... Oh, man, that car just drove through you. Like like a car driving through you. Are you some sort of ghost or something? Eh, ghost-like. Yeah, check this out. Put, put your hand right here. Just touch it. Oh, no, that's your that's your private parts, man. Private, but you're invited. Go ahead, put it right there. It's gonna go right through me. I won't even feel it. I won't even feel it. Right. Really? Yeah. All right, I ain't being fruity. All right. Oh, I did. Oh, oh yeah. That felt nice. That no, felt no, nice. don't say that. that no, yeah. That's wrong. You could have bought me dinner first. We just met. Uh, you talk slow, but you move fast. Yeah, it's like there's a dog whistle in my pants, and only you can hear it. Do it again one more time. I want to see if you can get me off again. No, I didn't get you off, man. I ain't no party boy. Come on, Joe. I'm just messing with you. I'm just trying to lighten the mood. I never... Never figured you for a quitter. Weren't you the guy who once said, life's a garden, dig it? Yeah, I also said, say it, don't spray it, but that Joe's gone, man. Life's a garden, dig it, ain't nothing but a bumper sticker. Yeah, well, don't you think that sometimes bumper stickers have a little bit of truth in them? Yeah, you know the one that says, wrap it in latex or she'll get your paycheck. That one's got <laughs> lots of sure. truth, yeah. Sure, and then uh, I remember that one uh, that said, to coexist. <laughs> Yeah, that's not as funny. And then they took the coexist and they changed it to Joe exists to put his hands on Dick. Come on, Joe. I want you to come with me. I want to show you something. I want to, I want to take you to Silvertown. Silvertown? No way, man. That place is a thousand miles away, literally and fingered. And fig. fig newtonally. Were you going for figuratively? Because I know that you were just going for some homo action in my pants just a minute ago. Joe, when you're with me, Silvertown is just a second away. All right. Wait a second, is this Silvertown? Oh man, it's all gone to hell. What happened? You didn't happen, Joe. I went to help. Although, my guess is you would have rather had it gone to the Thunder Down Under. The Thunder Down Under show? That's a bunch of dudes dancing around. Why do you keep saying crap like that? You couldn't wait to get your hand in my dick. And I get it. You know, we all want what we can't have. You want to touch what's on the other side of the light. And the closest thing to you was my dick. But you wanted to wear it like a fucking wristwatch, which would be great, right? And you could say, oh, what time is it? It's 15 minutes to dick. 
Schnipper, 11 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Schnipper. I drink a gallon of her fist just to see where it came from. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got Brandy, and she's my girl, and I don't... But I guess what they say, you know, you're on a diet, but don't mean you can't look at the menu. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just because you're petting the dog doesn't mean you don't have sex with it, right? Uh, I don't know. You're creeping me out. You're so creepy. You're so creepy. My dick had you at hello, and now you're talking about having sex with animals and shit. I don't get you. No, dude. Okay, you're twisting things around. I just said Silvertown's looks way different, but I don't say sex with animals. That don't turn me on, man. That's that's weird stuff. I mean, maybe Jessica Rabbit, but it's not called Silvertown anymore. Jimmy Yock bought this joint, changed its name to uh, Jimmy Town. What? What? Dude, why would he do that? Well, you got rich, Joe. You got rich as hell, but all he does anymore is. Uh, Sit around and pop Molly, cut with ketamine and shit, trip his balls off. Joe, about what happened back there, you know, when you fisted me. I don't want things to get weird between the two of us. If I could just be serious for a second, what do balls taste like? You know, did you go to Guardian Angel School? Because I feel like maybe you flunked out. Hey, hey, you little punks, come back here. Third time this week, kids have ripped me off. This used to be a town for families, community. Yeah. I don't know, the last few decades, well, something's gone missing. It's like, well, it's like the glue is gone. Someone stole Silvertown's glue? Oh, wait, is that one of the metaphors you talked about? Who are you talking to? Oh, sorry, man, this, uh, this here's Claire. He can't see me, Joe. Christ's sakes. Kids ripping off comic books, assholes standing around talking to themselves. It's all just bullshit. Oh, man. Joe, Brandy's just outside of town. Brandy lives here? This don't seem like her kind of place at all. Well, these days, this is her kind of place. Her life went down a different path on the day that she didn't meet you. She's changed. I mean, she is still cute as a little puppy. If that little puppy had great tits and a nice ass. <laughs> oh, man. It's like diarrhea. I can't stop. You should see for yourself, though. Well, because I'm an angel, you moron! Joe, I want you to uh, find Brandy. Okay. You hear that? It's poetry. Poetry. Brandy finally gave me the gift I knew she always had to give. All the great words, the great magical turns of a phrase, that lives within me now and informs my music. It's all because of her. So you know what I'm thinking? Y'all yeah. wanna get wasted? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, real wasted, real fast, yeah. bang some game from Party Like a Rockstar? Yeah. Well, all right! Yeah. Here's what I'm thinking, tampons. Come on, man, hear me out, man. You soak them in vodka, and then we shove them straight up our asses. Oh, wait, what? No, no, get you hammered ASAP, man. Mark McGrath does it every night. I don't know, that seems uh, weird, little. Do you guys question the iPhone? Well, yeah, but this seemed different iPhone. than an iPhone. You can't compare an iPhone with a tampon. I stop being such a bunch of pussies now. I demand you to stop being pussies. Now start to soaking and get to shoving, or you're out of my entourage. I'll leave. Keep soaking yeah. and shove, soak and shove. I want to hear your boys say it now. Soaking and shove. Ooh, you better be right about that. Yeah. All right. Oh. It's hard to get in there, boss. Don't worry about it, man. Just keep shoving. It'll get there. It'll get there. All right. Oh. 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 How you doing, Cal? Oh. Hey. Oh. Nine. Oh. Ten. Oh, yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> These things are going up like easy peasy. <clears throat> what? 14. What did you say? What? Who said that? What are you saying? Um, I thought I was eating them. I thought you said eat them. <laughs> he wasn't oh, eating them, man. You said eat them. I had like 14. I was eating them. They taste like cotton candy. 
wait a minute, did you say butt, man? Oh my God, Jimmy, he was putting him up his butt. This guy, this guy was putting him up his butt. What an idiot, what an idiot. <laughs> wait they all went second. up your butt, Cal. I seen them no, all go up no, your butt. No, no, this sucks. No, I'm out, I'm done with this party. You suck, Jimmy. No, you don't suck, you're great, man. I love you. You're awesome, you're the best, you're the best. He sucks. No, I'm out. This is terrible. Dude, stay, Jimmy, stay, this is stay. Stupid. Hey, no, Jimmy, what a dumb idea. Hey, Jimmy, you got a situation out here. Hey, come on, man, we're doing a science experiment here. Uh, yeah, but there's this guy out here. What's up? Look, hey. man, we caught this dude without an invitation. You want me to throw his ass out? I know you, right? You know me, yeah, yeah. it's Joe Dirt. Jimmy, I can't believe you're such a huge star in this big house, man. Seems like just yesterday we was hanging out at the gas station. Oh, now hold up a second. Now, I ain't never hung out with nobody named Joe Dirt, and I ain't about to start right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, I think I, I confused you for somebody. Yeah, I think you did. And man, get this boy a drink. Maybe clear his head up a little bit. No, man, I'm cool. <laughs> no, you ain't. <laughs> Dang, I walk into that every time. Hey, where's, uh, is Brandy around? So, what would you say? Is Brandy here? Oh, you asking about Brandy now? You coming up in my house, acting all buddy-buddy-like, and now you're hitting on my wife? No, I didn't mean it. Your wife? Brandy's not your... Yeah. What? Oh, my God. When you took my place on the porch saving Charlie's balls, that's right. Oh, wait a minute. You're that dude that walked up on me and Brandy that night in the porch when I was saving that stupid mud or something like that. Oh, and you was talking about, oh, Brandy, I love you. I got so much money, it's coming out of my butt. It's no wonder Colt Ford wrote a song about you. Colt Ford wrote a song about me? Yeah, man, the Battle of Joe Dirt. And here you are, stupid mullet, stupid face and all that. Well, hello, ladies. Woo-hoo-hoo. Looky here, looky here. Hey, Jimmy, ain't you just say you married a brownie now? She does her thing, I do my thing. That's the way that thing goes. So how you doing? What are your friends with? Have you seen Jacuzzi yet? Woo, you gonna love it. Come on now. You got a twin sister? Not cool. <laughs> Hey! Brandy! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Let's do it. This way, silly. <laughs> Brandy? Hey. Hey! I remember you. Hey, you're that rich guy. You were gonna help me with Charlie when he was stuck. Yeah. Until Jimmy beat you to it and helped me instead. <sighs> Might have been the last time Jimmy helped me with anything. <laughs> hey, look, it's the moron with a Tennessee top hat. <laughs> you nailed it, bro. <laughs> Tennessee top hat. It's actually a good one, fellas. I had not heard that one before. Got some new stuff. Oh, yeah? I bet you never heard uh, that you're a winner either. <laughs> Jimmy would have liked that one. I love Jimmy. Where is Jimmy? Forget about Jimmy, baby. You're here with me now. Trini, you're so sweet. You're such a good friend to me. Oh, yeah? You look so hot tonight, Brandy. <laughs> Doesn't she look hot, boys? Yeah! Yes! I don't... I don't think she looks that hot. I mean, no, I mean, she... She's gorgeous, but that's not the Brandy I'm used to. You don't look like that. I mean, you look slutty hot, and that's good. Slutty hot's good, it's just not the regular hot. <clears throat> but uh, believe me, there's a place for slutty hot. Guys like that. But Brandy isn't that kind of hot. You're innocent sweetheart. I mean, sluts are great. You know what? I'm digging a hole. I'll get out of it. Uh, Brandy, what's been happening in Silvertown? Mmm. 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 Brandy's been happening. Oh, boy. I didn't think those M's was ever gonna stop. This girl's got more M's than M&M's. Because <laughs> M&M's... No laughs, absolutely zero. When Jimmy's here, you laugh at everything, he cuts a fart, everyone cracks up for two hours. This town is called Jimmy Town now. My husband renamed it. I kind of miss the old name and all that came with it. Mm. Brandy, I'd like to be all that came with it to you. 
train and it tickles. Jimmy will get mad. He always gets mad. No, he'll just grab a camera and pop a rod. You're just a lost little girl, Brandy. I didn't used to be. I used to be a strong, independent woman. I don't know what happened to me. It could be the heroin. Heroin, man? What's going on in this town? It's all mixed up. I don't know what is and isn't mixed up anymore. You're so deep, Brandy. You like when I do this to you, don't you? I bet you're wearing those silk little panties I bought for you, ain't you? Don't say ain't, or your mother will faint. Your father will fall into a bucket of paint. Wow. You and me. We have a connection, Joe Dirt. We used to always say that. I say it all the time to our kid, to, uh, to my kids. Kiss me, Brandy. Like you mean it, girl. Don't be halfway with me no more, Brandy. All right, that's it. Show's over, everybody. Stop it right there. That's enough. What are you doing? What the what? hell? What are you, queer? <laughs> hey, Brandy, in another life, we get married. We fall in love. We have three beautiful kids, Cheyenne, Abilene, and Dakota. Those are such sweet names. Well, that's because you picked them. I picked dumb names. Santa, good job. Oh, man, you scare me because you come out of nowhere sometimes. Look, tell her. Tell her what you've learned. Oh, yeah. Tell her how you feel now. Okay, I think I got it. Who's he talking to? Huh? All right, Brandy, me and you was together, and everything was going great, and we was really happy, and then something terrible happened. I got taken away from you and the kids, and then now I think I'm sent back to learn a lesson that if I have money, oh, you and I... Oh, what the hell? Come on, jo Damn it, Joe, are you, you still don't get it? Look, they told me you were dumb, but I mean, it's almost like you're a I'm joking kind of dumb. Look, I give up here. I, I guess I'm not gonna get my wings, and I'm never gonna hear that beautiful sound. What sound? Well, you hear a certain kind of clang when an angel gets his wings. Whatever, I, look. Oh, wait, when an angel gets his wings? That's from a movie or something, like a TV show. I've heard... Shut up, dude! You're seriously bumming out the vibe in this room. Brandy here had a monsoon in her panties thinking about me. Then you walk in here not remembering lines from It's a Wonderful Life. That's it. I'm trying to get down, and you're getting me down. Look, this is just too confusing. I've had too much to drink. I gotta go. I gotta go. Let me, can I talk? What'd you do? Brandy. I think I know what I'm supposed to know now. I know it's, I'm going to be different. I don't know what you're saying. Just please stop. I'm married to Jimmy, but he doesn't feel like he's married to me. My life feels like it is spinning out of control. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe Dirt. Well, that went great. I don't know what's going on anymore, man. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to learn. No, you're not very bright. So come on, I don't, ain't no toaster scientist. What am I supposed to learn? I bench 150 on a good day. The fact that I'm supposed to memorize a spark plug gap on a, on a Plymouth 383. I don't know. I just want my whole life back. 150's not that great. Hey, Claire. Hey, wait, you're that woman that yelled at me on the bus bench. That's right, you fart eater. I'm the good witch. I'm the one that sent this hunky angel to you. No offense, Claire. No offense, really. Okay. He's like the angel that saved that cracker ass Jimmy Stewart and helped that white racist ass town. Tell me something. How come they don't ever have any angels to save a black town? You don't think black towns could use some help once in a while? You ever seen Detroit? That town is sucking some misery dick. How come them bitches in Hollywood don't throw us a bone every once in a while? Wait a second. You're the good witch? Well, maybe you should work on your, like, presentation because it comes off a little rough around the edges. But I have to say, man, with all due respect, this is who I am. I'm Joe Dirt, okay? And I'm fine with it. I I'm not mean to other people like you are. In fact, I made some money with this guy, Clem, and if you need it for that city, Detroit, you can have it all to help me. I don't care. Because I thought it was about being rich and showing my family I had a lot of money and being famous like Leonard Skinner, but that don't matter. It's about me being me, just me. And I'm OK with that. And they're OK with that. Well, I'll be dipped in shit. Holy hell, he gets it. 
What? What happened? You got it, Joe Dirt. You learned your lesson. Yeah, you're going home, Joe. You're going home. You know, uh, I was Foggle. Did you know that? You was Foggle? Oh, wait, <laughs> you're both sort of like homophobic. Maybe, yeah, I see it. Well, I was acting. I made some interesting choices. Uh, well, a little big at first, but I thought I reeled them in. I had to be convincing. Those guys would have raped oh, me. Oh, fuck but that thought... acting shit. This boy going home. Click those boots together, Joe Dirt. You know what to say. I just say there ain't no place like home. Joe, I want to thank you for giving my wings. You got oh, your wings? I did. Well, I'm going to get them now. I was supposed to hear a clang. You will. Dance with your dirt. Just die. Life's a garden. Dig it. When are you coming back? Home away, you make it. You like to see home was naked? No, 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 no. Home away, you make it. Ain't nothing like home. Ain't nothing like home. Ain't nothing like home. Joe, wake up. Joe? Ready? The piece. Give old jerk. Well, long story short, uh, we stomped those three dudes so hard they gotta take their boots off to piss. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this guy, mother. Seriously? Seriously? Is it 2015? Seriously.
Oh show. my god. I thought I had this turned off. I this is embarrassing. Joe. Oh, I want to talk to you. I like you. You got funny hair, but I like you. Hey. Fuck you guys. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if you want to stay awake right now, you'll still be on the road in the middle of nowhere. Your call, Rem. <laughs> so no, thank you. Oh, man. Old comic books in mint condition for 10 cents a piece? You give old Joe Dirt lemonade, he's going to give you fuck you. One more, and then I got to go to lunch. <laughs> when you're twisting stuff, like I'm I say something, and then you say it back different. You're supposed to be a nice guardian angel. Like, I don't picture people like you. Anyway, I don't get Let's horny go. by ain't by <laughs> I don't get horny. I'm going to get it out. I don't get horny from animal sex, but I like Jessica Rabbit. Really? She's fucking with me. Trying to get a gay vibe from you. Yeah, I heard that. Can someone open this for me? Did somebody fart on this? What did I do? What? Those two farts were accidents. Wait, no, what? <laughs> Wait, no, what? <laughs> what? I have a medical condition. They did it on purpose. <laughs> Fine. I don't even work here. <laughs> Stuff you actually made up to sound cool because you're on shrooms, but actually makes you sound like a dipshit. So I'm gonna say no. Hey, John, I'm up here to load C. Some asshole went diarrhea all over the seat. Copy that. When can you start? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh like me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, oh, we're done. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Cut. That's a cut. That's a cut. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs>